Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. The weather continues to make headlines. This week we've had temperatures in the 70s and the 20s. We've had sunshine. We've also had fog, freezing rain, and this morning, just to make the Friday morning commute interesting, a little snow. Meanwhile, this week, the Army Emergency Relief Campaign gets set to kick off. A very special story on a local wounded warrior. And of course, it's Super Bowl weekend. These stories and more, but first, the weather hasn't stopped the exchange from beginning the first phase of construction on the new Exchange Mall. Store manager Jonathan Bright ran down what we can expect when construction is completed next year. The big project is the shopping center. Very, very exciting. Um, if you have driven past uh, the PX or um, if you have shopped, you can now see that the PX side of the building is now demo. So, uh, you know, the project is underway. And concessions is your barbershop, your beauty, tactical. We also are looking into other businesses. Another business that we're looking into is called Things Remember. So that's something that might be coming. Also, full court. Um, we're going to have about six food facilities. Uh, tentatively, um, there's Charlie's, Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, Domino's. Arby's, and we just got a contract with uh, Boston Market. While the mall is being constructed, Afies is also building a new express store along with a drive-in Burger King and a second gas station on Mapes Road near the Route 32 gate. That project is expected to be completed in October of this year. In other news, Sergeant Brendan Morocco lost all four limbs several years ago. This week he held a press conference at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore as the first double arm transplant recipient. We have more from the Pentagon Channel. Retired Sergeant Brendan Morocco is the first quadruple amputee to survive his injuries in Iraq. He spent the last four years adapting to that title, but now he has a new one. I never really uh, accepted the fact that uh, I didn't have arms. So now that I have them again, it's, uh, it's almost like it never happened. Uh, it's like I, I went back four years and, and uh, I'm, I'm me again. And uh, it's awesome. Six weeks ago, doctors performed what just a few years ago would have been considered a miracle. They gave a man a new set of arms. I can rotate a little bit. Uh, this arm is pretty much uh, uh, not much movement at all, uh, not yet. In a 13-hour procedure, a 16-member team of doctors from Johns Hopkins, the Curtis National Hand Center in Baltimore, and the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center connected bone, muscles, blood vessels, and nerves from the arms of a donor. The former Army Sergeant's left arm was attached below the elbow. The right was closer to his shoulder. He also received bone marrow from the donor, decreasing the likelihood of rejection. The nerves regenerate at the maximum speed of one inch per month. So considering where we did the transplant and where the nerves were connected, there are many, many inches and indeed many, many months and a couple years for that matter before function will return. Morocco was driving the last vehicle in a four vehicle convoy when he was struck by an explosively formed projectile or EFP and credits the army medic he calls Sergeant Kenny and major advances in army medicine was saving his life. Now he has a new team to thank for improving it. I was feeling great before this and uh, feeling a lot better now. For more on this amazing story, go to www.pentagonchannel.mil. Meanwhile, the Director for Army Emergency Relief, retired Lieutenant General Robert Foley, visited Fort Meade this week in advance of this year's AER campaign. We know that there are a great many soldiers and family members that are beneficiaries of what we do. My concern is that there are a number of soldiers and family members that don't appreciate what we do, don't know what we do, don't understand what we do, who go online to payday lenders and pay 500% APR instead of coming to us and getting free money. And that's really the key issue that I wanted to chat with you about today. General Foley added that the campaign referral program implemented in 2006 has become increasingly popular. The program allows first sergeants and company commanders to authorize up to $1,500 in interest-free loans just by signing the request. For more on Army Emergency Relief, go to www.aerhq.org. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.